We talked earlier about the primal hunter prey dynamic as the force behind the Yaoi appeal. We're going into our next part of this lecture. We're, we're, we're done with sort of our introduction to Yaoi. We're going to go into more of an analysis of a particular subgenre within Yaoi culture. Omegaverse is a subgenre of Yaoi. Omegaverse, also known as ABO, an abbreviation for Alpha, Beta, Omega is a subgenre of speculative erotic fiction. Stories in the genre are premised on societies wherein humans are divided into a dominant hierarchy of dominant alphas, neutral betas, and submissive omegas. These terms are derived from those used in ethology to describe social hierarchies in animals. Animals. Keyword. I don't know. What is alpha? Is alpha just an A? Omega, alpha, beta. So alphas, again, you have to keep in mind the animalistic nature. The alphas are the dominant ones. They're the aggressive ones. They want to be in control. It's about their social standing, where they are in the pack. The omega, the submissive one. We might get into some material that's kind of scary. Bear with me. You'll be better off with the knowledge you, you take away from this lecture today, class. The Omega, yes, you know, we hearken back to our definition of Yaoi, Seme, Yuke. But now we're, we are truly, when we say animalistic, it's not just, you know, I said in the jungle, on the hunt for that bussy. We're, we're going more quite literal. The submissive male literally have a heat cycle. They go into heat like an animal. They produce like pheromones. I think they all produce certain pheromones, like an animal would. This is key. They get pregnant, male on male, mammalian. The omegas get pregnant, literally submissive and breedable. There's also the beta. I don't even think I understand this. They're kind of like the normies. They're not as hyper aggressive as the alphas. They're not super hyper uh, like submissive like the omega. Not the extremes. They're kind of more normal. The animalistic nature of omegaverse. We're talking quite literally. In our furry lecture, we talked about how what is the most common fursona is the wolf. In omegaverse, most commonly it focuses on wolf like behavior in humans, especially when it pertains to intercourse. That is some sick shit right here, right? There's like a mental thing. I mean, I don't know about you, but yeah, you know, we're not animalistic, but there's, there's like a mindset of like, I'm on the hunt, I'm dominant, or like, oh, I wanna be bred, right? Cause I'm, you know, submissive or something. But no, this is quite literal. Like, I don't think you quite understand the levels of animalistic tie-in we're talking about. You think getting pregnant is bad. The physical anatomy of a wolf. Do you know what a knot is? Do you know what a knot is? Well, if you're an Omega, you're definitely gonna be familiar with that. I don't wanna go into specifics for fear of getting banned, but if I had to describe it with a sound, it's like a pop. Right? They go in depth. In Omegaverse media, there's like diagrams. They have diagrams of the birth canal in the male. Uh, lonely lol, sir, are you an alpha or an omega? Let's find out. Wanna show you what it means to be a human. I'm gonna make myself vulnerable. I'm gonna be doing this quiz um, to show you, uh, again, you can read the books, you can read the theorems, but to get hands on, is Professor, before I take this exam, is Professor an Alpha or an Omega? 38% Alpha and 62% of you bet Omega. Which Omegaverse rank, Alpha, Beta, Omega, are you? This is a quiz from Omega Johnson. So let's start this quiz. What's your fave emoji from this setup? I do do the pleading face. I, I text the pleading face a lot. To my loved ones, I do pleading face. And when I'm talking to friends, I do laughing while crying. I use, I, 
I use pleading face a lot. Don't be, okay, calm down. You got, settle down class, settle, settle. <laughs> okay, settle down. All right, I'll be honest. What's your favorite emoji versus what's the one you use most? Is that necessarily the same question? Yes, okay. Well, it's, it, then it's, it's pleading face emoji. Question two, are you a furry? Please choose one. No, but I like werewolves and vampires. No, I do not like anthro animals. Definitely not that. Um, no, but I like anthropomorphic animals in Disney movies. Yes, and my fursona is a dog, cat, real life animal. No, but I think Bowser is hot. I play Animal Crossing. I am a monster f uh, Yes, and my fursona is a werewolf, dragon, surgle, mythical creature. What's a, what's a surgle? So, I do play Animal Crossing. Are you a furry? You know, I did the furry scale. I took the test. I said yes. I said I am willing to three. I am willing to three. I'm an active two, but if you had to ask, I'm a willing three. And you know, if you remember on the furry scale, three is furry. So what, whether I'm willing to or not, I would say yes, I am a furry. So any answer that's no is out of, out of here. I mean, I don't, I don't have a fursona. Like I'm gonna try to answer this as truthfully as possible. I think it's, I play Animal Crossing. I know I designed one in class, but you know, but I don't actually, I wanna, I wanna give you a true, honest to goodness representation of me. I don't have a fursona that I role play with. I feel that's not quite right. Is there one that's like, yes, I'm, you know, I kinda am, I don't have a fursona, but yeah, you know, Lola Bunny, I would do. I play Animal Crossing. Question three, did you go to art school? I did not go to art school and I, even though I have some artistic ability. Which of these fanfic tropes is your least fave? Enemies to lovers. That's really good shit. I like that a lot, so not that one. Body swap. Hurt comfort. What's PWP? Arranged marriage? Mafia alternate universe? Bed sharing? Pregnancy fic? Bonded linked soulmates? Magic fantasy alternate universe. I quite like magic fantasy universe. Um, Mafia alternate universe? Like, I mean, like, I guess so. Like, I don't have a problem with it. What's PWP? Body swap? Eh, it's like whatever. Bonded linked soulmates? Oh, that without plot. Definitely not. I'm all down for that. Arranged marriage? That's just also kind of like, whatever. I'm gonna go with bonded linked soulmates. That's boring. I like chemistry, in the moment, passion. Life is messy. There's no soulmates. I just caught in the moment, passing by on the street, you lock eyes. I'm not down with like the soulmate stuff. Kind of boring too. Which of these fanfic things is your least fave? Tentacles, eggs, what the fuck? Expanding, kink, pollen, what does that even mean? Lactation, water sports, cuckolding, interesting. Probably, what is pollen? Eggs, what, is the, what the fuck does that mean? That, this is all bad. I don't like eggs. I'm not a fan of tentacles. Size kink? That's okay. That's okay. You know, that's okay. Pollen? What does that mean? Is eggs literally laying eggs? I mean, it's got to be water sports, bro. That's, that's, that, that ain't it, man. I mean, lactation for me also is, that's that, you know, but no thanks. Which one of these most fits you? Any female born after 1993? What does that mean? Oh, is this, is this like the Bernie meme? where it's like, woman, all women do is eat hot chip, like that kind of thing. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's the second from the bottom. Any female born after 1993 eat hot chip. I mean, that's, should I pick eat hot chip? Cause that was literally the thing that I like said off the top of my head before even reading the options. I think I have to say eat hot chip. Do you like podcasts? It's gotta be YouTube. I mean, it's Twitch streams for sure. I consume Twitch streams way more than like I watch YouTube videos. I don't, I don't listen to podcasts anymore. Which is your favorite piece of werewolf wolf shifter media? But I'm gonna have to go with the companions in DLC in Skyrim. Wait, actually though, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I will not be taking any questions at this time. If you had it to taste someone else's slick, what would you hope it tastes like? All right, next question. Question 10, how often do you read fan fiction? Does this include doujins or is this just fan fiction? Cause if it's just, does this include doujins? Cause if this is just fan fiction, then, then no. What position do you sleep on my side while holding a pillow? What is my favorite wolf subspecies? Is a dire wolf the big one? 
I like that. Question 13. Imagine you are an Omega Alpha who has recently presented. What does that mean? I don't think I would hide anything. I don't think I, I would. I think it's the first one. I wouldn't hide anything. I would take advantage of my rank and I, I'd bask in the attention for sure. Which major arcana card do you vibe with? It's the lovers. I got a tarot card reading recently, somewhat recently, and I'm the lovers. Would you kiss your homies goodnight? I like this one. Yes, as in custom. I'll be honest. I'm the lovers. And if you're, I, I like to think I have a small friend circle, but a tight one, okay? I'm really for my friends, but I'm not very overt about it. I'm not constantly bombarding them with heart eye emojis and stuff. But you know what? When I'm there, I'm there. So I'm not so overt, like kissing my homies and tucking them in. You, my friends don't expect that from Landon, but when, when they need Lando to come in and clutch, I will be there. So it's more like, yes, as it is custom, because it's, it's my virtue. I'm the lovers. Is that it? My result is I'm an Omega. Slickalicious definition make them alphas loco. You're an Omega. As an Omega, you will go into heat, which basically means you'll get hot and sweaty and sticky until an alpha sticks their knot in you. All right, so I am an Omega. Time for the payout. 64,000 points go to Carol and 32 others. There we go, Professor Lando is an Omega. Now, let me take an introspective look. So I'm an Omega. There it is, I'm an Omega. And I, it seems most of you thought that. Um, it seems the majority of you picked Omega. Um, for those of you who, who thought Alpha, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. But what can I say? Professor Prego, huh? Mm -hmm.